Socket to frauds. Socket to frauds. Socket to frauds. Hi, Miss Nancy. I heard you know a lot about different types of scams. That's true, Sammy. I am an AARP Foundation Fraud Fighter Volunteer, and each week I help answer lots of questions about all kinds of frauds and scams. Perfect. I bet you can help me out then. Yesterday, I was shopping online for a birthday gift for my mom, and a pop-up screen appeared on my computer. It said I have a virus and gave me a phone number to call to fix the problem. And what did you do next, Sammy? Well, I'm very good at following directions, so of course I called the number, but I'm not sure that was the best idea. Unfortunately, Sammy, that is a scam. And when you called the number, what did they say? When they answered, they said it was Microsoft, so I figured it was okay. Then they asked me for access to my computer, and they also wanted to know my credit card number. So, did you allow them access to your computer and give them your credit card number? Like I said before, I'm very good at following directions, so I did. Is that bad? What should I do now? Well, Sammy, when dealing with scammers, it is not always best to follow directions. First, I would suggest that you contact your bank and let them know what had happened. Dispute the charge and have them issue you a new credit card. Okay, Miss Nancy, I will call the number on the back of my credit card right away. Is there anything else I need to do? Since the scammers accessed your computer, I would also suggest that you make sure that there is no malware on your computer and change any passwords to accounts that may contain personal or financial information. What is malware? Malware is a software that is meant to harm your computer. Oh, wow. That sounds really bad. I never knew such a thing even existed. I only use my computer for games and shopping. It is important to make sure that your virus protection software is up to date and that you run a scan of your computer. If you are not sure how to do that, I would suggest contacting someone that you trust that knows a lot about computers and or find a reputable tech support company in your community to help. One of my best fr friends is a computer whiz. I will see if he can help me out. Oh, that sounds like a good idea, Sammy. Well, now that I know if a pop up appear appears on my computer saying I have a virus, I shouldn't call the number because it's a scam. If it happens again, I will just shut down my computer and ask my tech-savvy friend to help me out. It is important to know that the same type of scammers might try and contact you on the phone and say that they are Microsoft or another major computer company. They will tell you that there is a virus on your computer and then ask for access to your computer and request payment information. If you get a call like this, just hang up. Those scammers sure are tricky. They are coming at me from all directions. They sure are tricky, Sammy. But now that you can recognize tech support scammers, you can take the appropriate steps to refuse the scam and then report it. You sure are smart, Miss Nancy. Thanks for all your help. Well, you're welcome, Sammy. If you have a question about a tech support scam or any other type of fraud or scam, call the AARP Foundation Elder Watch Helpline at 1-800-222-4444, option 2. Sock it to fraud! Sock it to fraud! Sock it to fraud! Sock it to fraud!